Welcome to the YC Weekly, and if you stay tuned, you'll float too. So who doesn't love trick-or-treating? Exactly. It's been an American tradition since the late 1920s. The usual treat is candy. Unless you're around a rich neighborhood, then you'll be lucky enough to get money instead. And the trick is a variety of pranks, such as TPing people's houses, egging their houses, silly stringing their property, burning dog poop on their porches. 2,000 years later. Creating their cars, playing Ding Dong Ditch, and throwing stink bombs. All right, but be careful. Some people trick or treat without precautions. What you talking about, Willis? Well, you know, the candy. Uh, right, because of sugar rush. Um, diabetes, that's no. serious. Uh, no. Cavities. Cavities. Well, besides that, some candy can be tampered with. Candied apples, for example, can be poisoned or have razor blades in them. And in some cases, some trick or treaters will instead get needles or drugs. Right, like that incident in California where the mother took her daughter's Snickers bar and then she ended up in the hospital with symptoms of someone who just dropped acid. Crazy. I definitely wouldn't want to trick or treat after that. Well, then you won't want to even more after I tell you that this night is used to initiate gang members and commit other criminal acts. On top of that, people conjure spirits and sacrifice poor animals. Oh man. Well, Halloween is no stranger to violence, but there are other reasons why some people don't celebrate it. Like religious reasons. Yeah, there are assumptions that the celebration of Halloween is associated with Satanism or Paganism. Some people are against celebrating the dead or worshipping the devil. Basically, praising of the force that is not God is frowned upon. That's why those who believe in God or the existence of other gods don't dress up, decorate their homes, or go trick-or-treating. That makes sense. It's also really dangerous to go out that time of night. Not only are kids knocking at the door of strangers, but there are drunk drivers that increase the risk of accidents. Well, you know, it's just best to stay aware on Halloween whether you're participating or not. Regardless of what you believe in, Halloween's a time to express yourself. So, throw on whatever you want, put on a costume, bake your face in makeup, eat lots of candy with discretion, and remember, you'll float too.